what is going on YouTube, just helping you out here. And in this video, I am going to be building the mission models contained in bag two for the FLL Carco Connect 2021-2022 game. Contained in this bag is the switch engine, and in order to successfully build it, all you need is this bag labeled number two right here. You do not need any of the parts in the unlabeled bags. Now, before I get started, I just want to apologize for any potential background noise and any slight variations in the lighting. With that said, let's get into the build and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so up first, you're gonna need one of those black frames and four of those gray pins. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert these gray pins into the end holes of both long sides. So one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. So your final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these size 11 black beams. You know they're size 11 because they have 11 holes. And what you are going to do is you're going to attach each one on each side of this part. So one just like this, such that the ends of this beam are aligned with the end of the frame. So you'll have one hole open on either side of those pins. And now on the other side, and the final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing four more of these gray pins. And what you were going to do with those is insert them on the centermost holes on the long sides. So one, two, three, four. So right there, right there, right there, and right there. So the final part should look just like this. And now you can go ahead and set this off to the side for now. And now you are going to be needing two of these two by four thick bricks and one of these two by four thin bricks. And what you're going to do is you're gonna take the thick bricks and line them up just like this and then place the thin brick over the seam of those two thick bricks. So it should look just like this. And now you'll be needing four of these two by one black flat bricks with the little hooks on them. And what you are going to do with those is you're gonna put two on each side right here and here. So one right there, one right there, one right there, and one right there. So the final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these yellow rods. And you were going to place those inside these hooks on either side. You just wanna make sure that when you do this, the rod is roughly centered. So now those are both in there and you'll see that's roughly centered on this side roughly centered on this side, and the final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these two by one black bricks with the axle hole in the middle. And what you're going to do is you're gonna put them on these two studs right here and these two studs right here. So one right there and one right there, and the final piece should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these four by one black bricks. And you are going to place one right here and one right here. So right there and right there. And the final piece should look just like that. And now you can also set this piece off to the side. So now you'll be needing one of these trapezoid looking pieces, two of these engine looking pieces, and eight of these black pins. And now the first thing that you wanna do is put four of these black pins in each of these engine looking pieces in the four beam holes. So one here, one here, one here, and one here. So each of those engine looking pieces should look just like this. And now I'm going to make another one. So 
So both of those should look just like this. And now what you want to do with these is you want to insert them onto these two holes and these two holes. And so what you're going to do is you're going to insert them just like this so that this square piece of the engine looking piece is facing that way. And then the other one will go right here. Again, I have this square piece faced up and your final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing another one of these trapezoid looking pieces. And what you are going to do is you're just going to insert it onto these four black pins right here. So your final piece should look just like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pick up this piece right here that I told you to set aside earlier. And you're going to take that piece that looks like an engine and you're going to stick it on to this right here. Now you need to make sure this is in the right orientation. So when I put this on, you want to make sure that these square pieces are on the same side as these yellow rods. And then the trapezoid frames should be facing in the same direction as these axle holes right here. And this is what the final piece should look like. And now for this next step, you want to flip this over 180 degrees, just like this. And now you'll be needing one of those two by four flat bricks and four of those smooth arched pieces. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put that flat brick over the seam of these two other bricks right here. So just like that. And then you are going to go ahead and place the arches in the four corners. And just a quick check to make sure you did this right, these should slope down into the same side that these rods and these square pieces are on. So the final part should look just like this. And now you can go ahead and flip this over 180 degrees again. And now you are going to be needing one of those gray pinwheels and one of those white pieces that has a short pin and a long axle. And what you are going to do is you're going to insert the axle part of this white piece into the pinwheel all the way, just like that. And then you are going to insert this axle part into this axle hole right here. Just like that. And the final piece should look just like this. So now you'll be needing two of these blue pieces that are part pin and part axle, one of these black squares, and one of these pieces that has a beam hole in the middle and two axle holes on the end. And so what you're going to do is you're going to insert the axle part of these blue pieces into the two axle holes of this black piece. You just want to make sure that they're inserted on the same side. So just like that, and then you're going to take this black square and insert it onto these blue pins right here. So that piece should look just like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to insert this top beam hole onto this white pin right here. So just like that, and this should be free to rotate. And the final part should look just like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to flip this around 180, except you're going to do it horizontally this time. And now you will be needing another one of those gray pinwheels and one of those tan pieces that has a short axle and a long axle. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the long axle part of this tan piece through the pinwheel. So it should look just like this. And then you're going to insert the long axle part of this tan piece into the axle hole right here. just like that, and the final piece should look just like this. And now you are going to be needing two of those blue pieces with part axle and part pin, one of those bent yellow beams, two of those black squares, one of those black pieces that have two end axle holes and one beam hole in the middle, and two of those black pins. And now what you want to do with this is you want to take the black pins and insert them on the right and left holes on one of these black squares. You just want to make sure that the side that you are putting these pins into is the same side that has these beam holes. You don't want to put them in on the sides that have nothing. 
And now you're gonna take the other black square and insert it onto those black pins. Again, please make sure that these beam holes are on the left and the right so that they're aligned with the bottom piece. And now you are going to take the axle part of the two blue pieces and insert them on the two end axle holes of this black piece. Just make sure they are inserted on the same side. So you should have a piece that looks like this. And then you're gonna insert those blue pins into the bottom set of beam holes on these squares. So your piece should look just like this. And now what you are going to do is you're gonna take the top beam hole right here and put it onto this tan piece right here. Just make sure that when you do this, it is in this orientation and not this orientation. So just like this. And now you're gonna take your bent yellow beam and you're gonna insert this tan piece right here into this end hole right here. Again, you need to make sure your orientation is correct. It should be facing this way and this short piece of the bent beam should be facing down. So the final piece should look just like this. And now you can go ahead and pick up this piece that I told you to set aside way in the beginning. And what you're gonna go ahead and do is insert these four gray pins right here into the four holes right here. So these two, and then the inside two right here. So. Make sure that's all snapped in. This is now the completed switch engine, and the final part should look just like this. and it should also be able to freely flip over. Now, just before we end the video, there is one thing that I would like to point out. If I look at my bag two here, I still have a black pin in there and a gray pin in there, and that is completely normal. So if you have something similar, that is totally okay. Typically they include a couple extra pieces, usually the smaller pieces, so that way if you happen to lose one, you'll have an extra and it won't be a big deal. All right, so this is the final switch engine mission model, and that is what is contained in bag two. So that's about it for this video. Feel free to check out all our other LEGO videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.